What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we have this absorbing app versus absorbing man, and uh, it, this this was a really this was a really exhausting fight because you just have to be looking at his cooldowns, like you gotta be concentrating like for the whole fight. And this is this is a 12 minute fight, and I'm not gonna show you like the whole thing, but I want to show you like what I do because absorbing man is actually an objective. He's uh, hashtag uh, gamma. So if you don't have like, you know, Hulk or Joe Fix It, you know, those best champs for Gamma or, you know, She-Hulk, Absorber Man can work. He can't even solo, but it's a really, it's a really, really tough fight. So what we're doing here is we're basically going to throw three of our special threes. The first one is going to give us one cruelty because our Black Uru was not refined, but that's all right. And then the next two ones are going to give us plus two cruelties. And we're going to go up to a cap of 5. And those cruelties are indefinite. And you definitely want to get those because you just don't have any red damage in this fight with Absorb Man. And you're missing out on a ton of damage. Like, it's it's unbelievable how much, uh, you know, weak, weak Absorb Man seemed without the red damage. And, uh, yeah, you just got to build up those cruelties. And here I'm just doing those light intercepts. You don't get more damage because you don't have, like, the red numbers. But I'm doing it here to, like, pause my form. Because, you know, when I throw my special, I just get charges based on the duration on it. So I'm trying to, like, uh, pause it as much as possible. And, uh, yeah, here, this is actually, I don't know if you noticed, but this is my free-to-play. So I'm not running suicides, and this Observing Man is ascended, like he's in the main. And the good thing here is, we are running 5 out of 5 Mystic Dispersion. And this is, like, if you don't have this, I am not sure if you can do this, because... The amount of power gain you get from that unstoppable constantly coming up is really really strong and it's not it's like really quick for this uh those three special threes but like the biggest deal is like when he gets below you know 50 percent where his region is just insane and uh you're gonna see what i'm gonna do here so he's going with his map from here i'm not really worried about you know uh heavying to stop his region just because i want to build up to my 600 charges again and have those big four vulnerabilities because now i have them but his, his health is not not that low so you know i can't really deal too much damage uh anyway so our vulnerabilities are gonna go right here it doesn't matter too much though i'm just building up to the 600 so we can just do the, the big damage uh so yeah we get that region here i wanted to refine my form because my health was low uh, but actually, Courage b makes a big difference as well with your damage. I believe I have it like maxed out on my free play, so it's like 3 out of 3, which is 20% attack, I think. So I'm looking here at his cooldown. I do not want to bait his special yet. Now I can't bait it because the cooldown is gone on the, the heavy, where I can stop his, uh, I can deactivate his form. And then I'm just looking at it again. That's literally what I'm doing. I'm not using, I'm not letting him throw any specials until that cooldown is gone and then i can bait another special to heavy him and counter the region and that's pretty much what i do in this fight man like I'm, I'm doing some pauses a little bit there here and there just to like get more charges for my uru and uh, here i can bait this because the cooldown is off uh and also a tip there are two different cooldowns now if i were to bait a special one from me here he would get a region but I could actually heavy counter him and deactivate his form, like I'm gonna do here actually. No, I didn't actually, I didn't do it here. But if I were to do it here, it's a different cooldown uh, than the magma form. So you, if he throws a special one, uh, while this magma form is, if, is uh, off cooldown, you can just disable the black guru because it's, it's a different symbol. Like um, I think we might see it here in the fight. Now we get the 600 charges. Now we consume them, and you're gonna see the big vulnerabilities, four of them, and the damage is just, it's really good. Even without the red numbers, as you can see, we're critting him as well, even though he's a 7 star and he's got the crit resist on him as well. Uh, so here I can bait this special too, because the cooldown is, is back. Go for a heavy. Here I went for the relic, because there was a weird timing with the unstoppable. And as you can see, our charges are running off, but his health is dropping as well. It's pretty good. So that's what we just want to do. We just want to build up the 600 charges again and again, preventing his region. Here he threw this, which is unfortunate. I, I didn't throw a heavy there yet for, for some reason. So he just regened a bit. Here I want to throw my special one to dump my power. Then I can bait this as well. And then go for a heavy in the special one. But yeah, I'm just going to skip it a little bit. 
so you can see. So he's at 30%. Now this is like really, really tough. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking, at his, looking at his cooldown. He's healing for 10,000 per tick right there. That was an unfortunate timing with my uh, the unstoppable, but thankfully absorb man, you know, so good here. So he just doesn't take any damage unless this guy has his magma form. You're not going to take much damage uh, if you're on the physical form. So that's special one. I still don't want to bait the special two, and now we should be okay. Just trying to bait this. Oh, sorry about that. I want to wait with the unstoppable a little bit. There we go. Again, ten thousand per tick, but. It doesn't matter here, we're just, you know, we're not doing much damage because we didn't consume our charges yet. So we're just going to go all in with like 600. That's why. I do not want to consume them before that unless I want to regen. So now we're going to go for a heavy into special one and then we'll probably need like one more. Yeah, 595. We need one more special to uh, be able to consume them. So the cooldown is coming off again. We can bait this now. 10,000 per tick again. Yeah, this is, it's pretty stressful, but now you're gonna see the numbers. Now you're gonna see the numbers. There, I got hit, it's fine though, because like I said, we just got the physical resistance. Go for heavy into the special one. Unfortunate timing with the unstoppable again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thankfully, Avgen, like 90% less duration on them, it's really huge. So here, I don't wanna bait the special yet. Now I can. It's itself cool down. And we didn't get a good run here with our vulnerabilities because he's not really too aggressive. They're about to fall off, so we just need to go for the next round. As you can see, it's just... <laughs> it's pretty frustrating, eh? Again, another unfortunate time with the unstoppable, but I just had to disable the form. Like, it, it's nice if you want to keep your relic, because uh, like you can heavy into the relic if something goes wrong. But I wasn't really too worried because I had some HP and I knew he wasn't going to kill me with that. So here, look at this. I do not want to bait a special. I'm just going to stall here a little bit. Now he threw it and I just barely, barely could have deactivated. That was like super, super close. Because I wanted, I was still not trying to bait this. That was a big blocked hit, man. 9,000. Yeah, I'm starting to get a worry now. I didn't even have a counter there. And I'm just thinking here, I just, I just need to regen. So I'm going to go for medium light medium. And even if he throws a special, I should be fine to like uh, deactivate it now. There we go. So we get some nice regen ourselves. But I still want to keep my health below 50%, uh, ideally, because I want to get the courage, which is, yeah, what I did there. Not too bad. Now we get the big vulnerabilities, as you can see, four of them. And we're going to do some heavies here, because those have the biggest critical rating. 20,000 is really huge. So you're most likely going to get two crits every heavy, heavy or like only one. But that's good too. Over heavy, deactivate his form, stop that region. And it's kind of crazy to me that Absman, with like even half his damage, he can out damage this, this insane absorbing man. Like you don't even have any, you know, incinerates on the special two. You don't have any red damage, which is literally on every hit, <laughs> every of his hits. It's like half his strength, uh, or even below that, and he's still able to just out damage it. It's just, it's just insane. Deactivate this, and now we're looking good. Look at this. He's got 25% of his health. We got 600 charges. Now we're, we're gonna deal some insane damage. There we go, that's a nice 30k heavy attack. 20,000, 10,000, 30,000. Now he's dropping. There we go. Now it's looking good. I don't even have any points in Assassin, but if I did, it still, it would have been a little bit even better here. So I can bait that special through here. It doesn't matter, the cooldown is off. And he's got 10%, so that region is gonna be huge. Almost 14,000. So he healed up 7% from just the animation there. <laughs> really stressful, if you ask me. Um, throw the relic here because the timing was off again. I do not want to bait especially yet, as you can see. Cooldown is not... It's not active. It's not active there. Uh, it's gonna be soon, though. Okay, now he threw this. I Honestly, I did not want to bait it yet. But <laughs> it was still very close. And he's down on the last 15%. At this point, I just... Uh, refine my form, just place those vulnerabilities because I'm like, dude, he's got a job. He's got a job. He's got 10% of his health. I'm going, for another, going for another heavy, 8%. Now I can bait his SP2 and counter his form because I'm seeing that it's not going to be enough to nuke him with those two vulnerabilities, so I just need to bait one more special. Heavy into that. And he's back to 11% again. <laughs> oh, man. Go for a medium light medium. Consume my charges. Heavy, 7%. Heavy to the special one. Oh, not special one. I guess I'm gonna do it now. 
and he has 3% HP. Dude, at this point, I'm like, you just gotta drop, man. So go for heavy into the unblockable three one, and it was enough. <laughs> yeah. So look at this, man. This was like a 12 minute fight. I was so exhausted because you just literally, you gotta look at his cooldown. You cannot bait specials. You also gotta be lucky because I had like some tries that I was holding my block and obviously he just throws his special. So you gotta be super lucky as well. But uh, I'm really glad this is possible. So that if you guys have like an ascended absorbman, I would probably not recommend doing it without ascended because it's like it's that close even with, with ascended. And definitely recommend five points of music dispersion because that that like the amount of power you get, it helps you build up the vulnerability so fast because it just gets so much so many charges back when you pop, you know, spam those special ones. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm really glad I did this. Uh, now, I guess I'm not going to be doing the robot on my free to play. So I'm just going to, you know, probably level up my Sandman on the on the free to play to just do the, the Sinister Six and then I'll be set. So yeah, guys, revive less. There we go. Uh, solo with Observer Man. It's possible. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.